Hey everybody, my name is Lieutenant Leroy. Welcome back to Halo. Bastards. Anyways, welcome back to Halo. What is going on? Last time we, or last episode, we were trying to save Captain Captain Keys and the rest of the command from the pillar bottom. Now we have them. We just gotta make it out of the ship with all of them alive. Well, not all of them, but we have to make it out with Captain Keys alive. I'm gonna try and save all of them, but. No promises. They won't mess with us again. Damn, so far I think we might just do it. Oh shit. Now I remember there's a uh, freaking invisible elites up ahead. That's gonna suck. We made it. Cortana to Echo 419. We have the captain and need extraction on the double. Negative, Cortana. I've been engaged by Covenant Air Patrols, and I'm having a tough time shaking them. You'll be right, we already get that terminal. Sorry. Acknowledged, Foe Hammer. Cortana out. Air support is cut off, Captain. We need to hold here until she can move in. It's Sergeant oh, Johnson. Right. Now we're trapped here. We're screwed! Stow the belly aching, soldier. Remember, you're a leatherneck. Cortana, if you and the chief can get us into one of those Covenant dropships, I can fly us out of here. Yes, Captain. There's a Covenant dropship still docked. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Bing. Can I skip them? Yes, I can. That's it. The dropship is loose. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. Give me a minute to interface with the ship's controls. Uh, no need. I'll take this bird out myself. Oops. 
Saving content. what they call the silent cartographer is somewhere under this island. The cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We're approaching the LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to cut off quick. Touchdown! Hit it, boys! Go, go, go! Yadian. Somebody order a warthog. Why, yes. Hey, I didn't know you made house calls for him. You know our motto. We deliver. I need some ammo. I only have two bags left. Okay, let's move out. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Oh, man. There's one right up there. Yeah, she. Firing! A bitch. Apparently he can. Lay on target. No, don't worry, guys. I'll take care of it. Oh! 
shit. We're gonna go in the regular way that we're supposed to. It took you long enough. Covenant are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must be here. My analysis indicates that the map room should be at the bottom floor of this facility. Let's keep going inside. Don't let them lock the doors. If I hadn't used up all my grenades, I could have chucked them in the door. Interesting. I underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've locked the doors, and we don't have enough firepower to get through. Cortana to keys. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security system. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact when we get there. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to push your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. We have to get to the center before the Covenant. And failure people is not an option. Echo 419 to ground team. I'll stay on station and keep an eye out for Covenant service. Second squad, ready to roll! Everybody's topside. LZ looks secure, sir. Nothing moving. Good luck, people. Keys out. Looks like there's a path into the interior of the island. Aha. Ammo. Got the fun part up next. Hey, and a terminal. Boom.
Boom. Skadoosh. It has now been 3,000 years since my last contact with any of the other caretakers of the Halo Array. Despite clear communications protocol, my fellow monitors have either chosen to ignore, or, more likely, have lost the ability to engage in our scheduled updates. The continued lapse of the domain means that we are stuck with achingly slow wormhole superluminal communications. Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. I suspected that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. I have lost my concerns about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 2401 may be destined for madness. There are fail-saves for this, I know. I hope they work. I will continue to visit the projection systems at the assigned gates. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena or unexpected system failures. thousand years of system failures. Indeed. In the meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the Council. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation to measure performance of the installation with negligible of. After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation I became bored. This was quite troubling, as I was led to believe I was not capable of such a state. This was one of the gifts I was promised, an end to strife. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. For amusement, I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space, and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sentient proximity warning. So he was literally blowing up parts of the terrain so that it would fly off into space and he can measure the effects. of the vacuum of space on those sections of terrain. I ain't wasting ammo on y'all.
I know this part. Yep. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Thank you. Oh yeah, another thing. We are going to put it to uh Use the hollow panel to shut down the security system. We're gonna play uh Homefront. We're gonna start that series uh alongside this one. Or not that series, but we're gonna start that game alongside this one because there is another home front coming out pretty soon. And I thought it was a pretty good game, the original one, at least. Of course, it needs some, you know, one one of the best game, good. mainly because it was that the first of the, the series. Leads into the main shaft. I mean, you can never expect the first of a series to be all that good, but but yeah, since they're actually doing sequels to it, I'm going to record the first one. Understood. We're, on our way. We're going to play it. There we go. And then there's another one. Great. Chief, Bravo 22 was bringing us some heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Let's move down the beach. Keep an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. Alright guys, well that about does it for this episode. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, do what you do, and I will see you in the next one.